Bancroft Review, a promising four-part thriller. It is rare to find a copper in a detective drama who is an absolute wrong and right from the start. Not so Bancroft, a promising four-part thriller stripped across four nights next week on ITV. Broadkirch and W1A actress Sarah Parrish leads an impressive cast as respected police officer DCI Elizabeth Bancroft, a woman with dark secrets in her past. In fact, they're very dark. Parrish herself describes her character as really bad. For one, she may well have murdered someone 27 years ago as a young police constable. The irony is that Bancroft is seen as a brilliant copper. She has given her life to the police force. Consequently, she's trusted and adored by her colleagues and promotion to detective chief superintendent looks likely. The main plot sees her trying to bring down the vicious Kamara drug gang but then she becomes distracted by DS Catherine Stevens, Faye Marseille from Game of Thrones, who is investigating a cold case in which Bancroft was involved. It's a real cat and mouse chase between those two, says Parrish, sitting on a double decker in Manchester which doubles as the canteen on set. It brings Bancroft to the brink, very swiftly. She goes on a journey into madness and she is almost like a sociopath. She will not give up and she will do anything to make sure it doesn't happen. She obviously comes with a lot of baggage. She's also a very controlling person and this lifts a lid on a part of her life that she can't control and she doesn't like it. The other thing is that she's very keen and precise and everything is always thought out. The Bancroft troll, Parrish explains came at a time when she was looking to increase her workload. I've only ever played one police officer before, she says, and what appealed to me is that she's a real anti-hero and you kind of like her and want her to succeed, because the case that runs alongside this cat and mouse chase is one she is in charge of and doing really well. It was a challenging shoot for the actress, partly because it was based in Manchester, a long way from home. There was also a month of night shoots. One of the most exhausting I've ever done, but she did manage to return home each week. She says, you just have to change your body clock so you can make it work. The first couple of nights are exhausting. You have your lunch at 7 p.m., and then you go through until 3 a.m. in the morning. But within a couple of days you get into it. Essie agrees more women are now appearing in police dramas, such as Happy Valley. Line of Duty and Scott and Bailey. There does feel like there's been a bit of a sea change in what's going on, she says. It's great that we're all getting a chance to do our thing. This drama is different because there is no redeemable feature to her. That is quite unusual to see in television and you can't shy away from that. P. Arish has no idea how audiences will take to this different kind of character, we just don't know. They might just hate me, I don't know. I hope it will really divide people. I guess you are working with the tension that people will like the actress, you hope, and I never really get to play a role like this. It's been a year of gripping, gritty television but Parrish is not a fan. She thinks Bancroft marks a change from what she calls, very distressing, harrowing television. This is different, she says, slightly removed stylish and melodramatic. It's also nothing like cutting it, which launched her career and which was also set in Manchester. Would it make it onto television now? I think shows like that are actually coming back. I see the things that are getting pitched now are much more relationship dramas because people are just so exhausted with what's going on that you don't want to sit down and watch something about abused kids, says Parrish, who is married and has a daughter called Nell. You know your own kids have gone to bed and you've got from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. and you just want to escape. I find it all a bit relentless. We need something else in our lives. But she reveals that there's plenty of action in the drama, I've been covered in bruises the whole time. There's a couple of big fight sequences in it. I have a fist fight. Yeah, but it's not like a western. There's also quite a bad killing. A couple actually a fire bombing, a gun heist and a house fire. It was all quite exciting, but they can be frightening to do.
Groundbreaking technology is used to make some characters look 27 years younger in flashback scenes. There's a lot of face mapping to change your look, she reveals. The result is incredible. It was frightening to look at, actually. It's a really clever process and I've never seen it done like this on television before. They film you all the way round and moving, then remap you. It costs an awful lot of money. Away from drama, she said goodbye to her hilarious W1A character, Anna. I really loved her. The writer, John Morton, I think he felt that he wanted to move on. Because all the lines are rubbish, the trouble was to learn them. It's really hard, because you're never having a proper conversation. People at the BBC would come up to me and say, you are my worst nightmare. I've been in front of Anna's before and I've been incredibly intimidated. Now I won't be. John seems to have this gift of predicting stupid things that were just about to happen. I was gutted that it finished. Bancroft, though, looks to have the potential to become a returning series. Bancroft, ITV, Monday to Thursday, 9 p.m. M.